producer. Hi, Cameron, how are you? You need a new musical? I have my musical theatre experts here. Are you experts in musical theatre? Yes. No problem. Look, let me get some ideas. OK, all right, give me two minutes. Put your hands up if you've got a great idea for a setting for a musical. Gentlemen up there, yes, go on. A Welsh coal mine. Some fantastic musicals have been done in Welsh coal mines. <laughs> so I want you to think of musicals that you love or musical theatre composers that you love, and then we'll do scenes and songs in the styles of those musicals or composers. Hamilton. Hamilton, fantastic. <laughs> Mamma mia. A bit of Gershwin. The title. The title is incredible. Perfect. Pit perfect. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, amazing. Singing, going out. Eh? Oh well, uh, I've been practicing a bit of late. You know, some of the the upper cabins in the upper quadrant. You know, they they've got a very good reverberance to them. Oh. <laughs> and we know why he's practicing, don't we? Of Edward? course he does. Got your he eye on my fan way. My fan way. My fan Come on now, boys. Please. <laughs> Admittedly. I do carry a bit of a miner's lamp for Mafanwi. I know, I know. She's yes, and he explains how wonderful Mafanwi is in this incredible Gershwin number. <laughs> a bit of a drink there, my fan, right? Oh, come on, old ma, you can't be giving her more drinks. You're always playing her with alcohol. Of course I am, because she's funny, and I love funny people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all in the delivery, I suppose. Oh, it's so lovely she came back to the valleys after being away for so long, isn't it? <laughs> and 
I haven't changed a bit. What's it like in London? What's it like out there? What's it like in London? Where people let down there? What's it like in London? What's it like out there? What's it like in London? Where people let down, where people let down, where people let down. I wanted to show you something. What's that, Mary? I made a sculpture in a piece of coal. <laughs> it's of your face. Oh, Mary, you have quite a talent. I thought so myself, but I didn't want to say because, of course, it's rude to say that. That's the <laughs> first rule of being Welsh. Don't say anything. Don't <laughs> say anything when you are near. I don't say those words that I long to hear. I don't tell you how I feel deep inside my heart. I don't say a word. Right, Mama. Yes, I, I don't think there was any direct correlation between the two events, but uh, yes, ever since you were born, this has been mucky and silty. Yes, a very mucky, silty brook it is. And look at that old oak tree, withered and worn since ever the day, since the day I you were was born. born. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that one too, that hawthorn, dead, dead as dead can be since the day, the day you were I was born. born. Mum, uh, yes. sometimes I feel that you prefer Mary to me. Oh, I don't prefer her. I just know her better because she didn't bug her off to London. <laughs> Oh. 
happens when the dynamite goes off? Uh, who thinks that it should just go right? Yeah. Who thinks it should go wrong? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty overwhelming. And it goes wrong in the style of Hamilton. How can a simple piece of dynamite wire to a pump always make no mistake when you take the stick of dynamite and you write because you got it wired up exactly to the right place and because when it blows the whole thing's gonna go and the mine is gonna break up on itself now don't you know because all the checks you make a raft of checks inside the shaft you back that you've checked everything is nice because it doesn't wreck if you're gonna make a check i will not be I bet your pecs if you're gonna set the next Cause there's no one finer than a miner No one can do it like that Cause there's no one finer than a miner No, there's no one finer than a miner No one else can the whole thing's gonna blow Time. There's not much to do in Dalgetri. I made that for you. You keep it. I see where your true heart lies. I'm nothing more than a piece of coal. Black. I'll never a diamond in this rough. It's sad, but it's true. And I can't keep my story straight until I find that it's too late. And so here I am, a sheltered dynamite man. Yes, it all explodes in the end. Won't you see? It was all well. It was all well. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, he's been playing with my girl's hearts. Even the one I like. <laughs> well, there you go, you see. He's a, he's a bad man. He's responsible for all of this, I'm sure. Well, then. We shall have to have a witch hunt. <laughs> There's the village way. I'll go and get the pitchforks and the torches. Ma. Ask me. 
I, I admit, my treatment of your daughters has not been first rate. No, I'd say it's been less than second rate. Yes, but even second rate doesn't need burning pitchforks. Oh, yeah, it says fire to my pitchfork. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, why just have a pitchfork and a torch when I could pitchfork you with fire? <laughs> and the only thing he can say is obviously in the style of Mamma Mia. <laughs> If it's any consolation, my fan, we I've always had a little bit of a shine for you. I can't sing or nothing. I'm not qualified to do anything else apart from blow things up rather badly. <laughs> but if you'll have me, well, I'd be happy to have you. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, she's and such a disappointment to me. You've got no class, Alan. Now, are you sure you don't want me to spike him with a fiery oh, pitchfork? Well, we started the story and we didn't have clear way. Go. We were down in a coal mine all the lives and the lives we got to know. 